It's an amazing time to be a Surfshark subscriber. So many new updates and features coming in every month. I am Gvidas and let me share everything that happened here at Surfshark in November. But before that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's start off this video with a bit of Apple love, because this month our macOS app received a 3.10 update, bringing the ability to change your preferred location in the Quick Connect button. This makes it even easier to connect to a location that you love. The settings menu has also been reorganized to help you find what you need much faster. At the top, you'll now find the VPN settings. Here, as the name implies, you can change your VPN connection settings like your protocol. Next, there's the app settings. Here, you'll find all settings related to the app such as the dark mode and the language setting. In the My Account menu setting, you'll find the login with code feature and various account settings like the ability to change your password. And in the last bottom menu called Get Help, you'll find all the information on how to quickly fix any issue you might have with the app. So we hope that these changes make it easier to find the settings and features that you need. An important update came out to the Surfshark Windows application. This update addressed DNS leaking issues that some of our Windows app users were experiencing. This was reported by our Reddit users, so thank you guys once again. Make sure to update your Windows app to version 3.1.1 from the Surfshark website. And if you do find any more bugs, please do not hesitate to report them via our apps. We will do our best to fix any bugs that come up ASAP. I think the dev team here at Surfshark loves our browser extension users. I honestly think that because every single month there's more and more great updates coming out. And I will keep talking about them, so stay subscribed. Anyway, version 3.9 brought a preferred location option to the Quick Connect button, similar to the macOS app update that we just covered. And while this update is small for our Chrome users, for Firefox users, it's a game changer because our Firefox extension is being updated from 3.1 all the way to the current 3.9 version, meaning you guys also get the other features from previous updates like the bypasser feature, auto connect, cookie pop-up blocker, and much more. So go ahead, update your extension and enjoy. You already know what time it is. It's time for my favorite segment, Quick Bits. Surfshark Black Friday deal is still available on our website. So if you don't want to miss this great deal, giving you 27 months for an excellent price, then go get it right now before it's gone. My colleague Victoria made a great video about the top 10 biggest data breaches. You can check it out on our channel or by clicking on this card here. Like, did you know that Microsoft was hacked in 2020 and exposed 250 million users data? Go watch that video to find out more. And finally, I wanted to feature this amazing article from our blog named Does a VPN Protect You From Viruses? Many people get confused on this topic, so it's definitely worth a read. I will include it in the link in the description below. And those are all the updates that happened in November. Thank you guys for watching this video and tuning in every month. If you enjoyed it, please give it a giant thumbs up. And if you missed the previous recap video for October, then you can find it right here. But that's all from me. Take care.